Explosions and fires near the Russian town of Belgorod. Local authorities say an ammunition depot is in fire. Residents say they heard several explosions. Officials from Kursk and Voronezh reported on the activation of air defense systems. It's said that something was shot down in the sky near Baltimore military airfield. Helicopters, fighters, Il-76 military transport, 222 M3 and 295 strategic bombers can be seen in satellite images of this airfield. Nevertheless, this airfield is about 200 kilometers away from the Ukrainian border. There are no weapons in the Ukrainian army forces that could strike at this range. And this is the moment of the explosion at the oil depot Druzhba in Bryansk. It is located in 100 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Local emergency services say the fire broke out around 2 a.m. Presumably there are two sources of ignition, one in the oil tank. Information about the second is not disclosed. But social media users reported that an artillery arsenal located nearby was on fire. And this is a picture of the destroyed part of the railway, which seems to lead to the same arsenal. Most likely road was used to carry equipment and weapons for the war against Ukraine. And more interesting, the way of international oil pipeline lies exactly through Bryansk. Surprisingly, it all came together. Explosions and fires in Russia have occurred more than once in April. This is how an oil depot in the city of Belgorod was on fire in early April. It's 40 kilometers from Ukrainian Kharkiv. And this is where the Kremlin's troops that invaded Ukraine came from. Then the Russians said that the oil depot was striked with the rockets by Ukrainian helicopters. Official Kiev did not confirm or deny this information. And this is how the research institutes in the city of Tver burned. The roof folded up as all the premises, documents and drawings. This institution, by the way, participated in the development of screening system for Su-27 and Tu-160 aircrafts. They also worked on the S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems and the Iskander missile system. This is exactly what Ukrainian cities have been shelled from for two months now. There was a fire in a small town of Korolev, Moscow region. It is called the space capital of Russia. Authorities initially did not report the fire, but the locals could clearly see the column of smoke rising from the industrial zone. A similar column of smoke was seen in the town of Keneshma. There, the fire broke out in the Dimitrov chemical plant. By the way, it's the largest in Russia and one of the largest in Eastern Europe. In addition to all this, forest fires broke out in Siberia. However, there is no way to extinguish them. The military and air forces were usually used to deal with such disasters. Now all those who previously extinguished such fires have been sent to fight in Ukraine. It all happened in April. And the month is not over yet. The exact causes of most fires are not yet known. The Kremlin authorities spoke of attacks from Ukraine, of mysterious guerrillas, of accidents and of the careless handling of flammable materials. And such things are usual for Russia, most frequently thanks to the military who decide to maneuver, but something goes wrong. For example, the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation decided to hold a parade of ships in occupied Ukrainian Sevastopol. To amuse the audience, they decided to launch a rocket during the demonstration. <laughs> The launch was unsuccessful, the rocket nearly hit the firing ship. But the ship is half the problem. What if the rocket hit the crowd? Putin would have to feign the version that Ukrainian saboteurs got on board and reprogrammed the missile. Russian ships have a mysterious tendency to self-destruction. For example, the modernized frigate Marshal Shaposhnikov flaunted the launch of the caliber missile. These often strike Ukrainian territory. The ship made a launch, the rocket went up nicely, but then for some reason began to spin in the air and fell near the ship. Imagine the crew watching its flight closely. 
probably as the soldier who shot this video. The Russian military were training to launch missiles from the S-300 complex. After the launch, the rocket flew 10 meters up, the engine failed to start and the rocket fell back. In Russia, such cases occur quite often. Instead of hitting air targets, the Russians are firing missiles at their own installations. Well, engineers will come up with new ones, although what could they do if the research institute burned down? Does a normal country need weapons that mutilate and kill their own soldiers? These stories cannot be heard from the official Russian sources. Instead, propagandists are shooting stories about Russian weapons which have no analogs in the world. And if you think they're lying when say that, listen to this commentator. Maybe at least he can convince you. Итак, есть цель, поражена, продолжаем. Противотанковый управляем ракеты, рефлекс, внимание! Итак, ну что ж, фактически в корму попадает танку. Have you heard of the Armata tank? A new generation fighting machine that Russians have been flaunting for several years. Strong armor, reliable chassis, advanced guidance and weapons. But for some reason it's still not in the service of the Russian army. And why adopt a machine that is not able to drive on its own through the Red Square? Russians die in military exercises, they are destroying their cities and infrastructure. Such a desire to commit suicide will surprise a normal person, but they have got used to it long time ago. On the contrary, they are proud of their way of life. They are proud of their president, who was repeatedly warned by the world politicians. Do not attack Ukraine, because you will destroy your own country. He didn't listen and destroys his own country right now. And the commoners scream. Ruski! Не сдаются!